Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the different ways that you can enable Copilot on Windows 11. Copilot is a new AI power feature that can help you in many tasks such as finding files, managing settings, and troubleshooting problems. To enable Copilot you will need to be running Windows 11 build 22.621.2362 or version 23H2 or a higher release. If you don't know the version that you have on your system just open start and look for the run command and then type win vre and click ok and here you can see that we're running version 22 h2 with the update that includes the new ai chatbot it is important to note that microsoft is gradually rolling out copilot starting with devices in north america part of asia and south america eventually it will be available in all the markets but now it's limited at the time of the recording of this video. However, if you can find the feature, there are a few ways that you can try to enable Copilot on your computer. So before we go into the different methods that you can try to enable Copilot on Windows 11, if you don't have the update, that's the first step that you have to do. And to do that, open Start and look for Settings, open the app, and then go to Windows Update and make sure to turn on this feature and click the Check for Updates button. This will make sure that you have the latest update installed on your computer. Okay, so Copilot should be enabled by default after installing the required update or the required version. But if it's not, you can check the taskbar settings to make sure that the feature is enabled. And to do that, open Start, look for Settings, then go to Personalization, and then we're going to open the taskbar settings and in here make sure that the copilot option is turned on now if the option to show copilot on the taskbar is not present on the settings app you can try to enable it through the registry however it is important to note that using the registry can cause different problems if you don't do it correctly so it is assumed that you created a backup and you know what you're doing before changing system settings and to use this method open and start look for the registry and open the registry editor then we're going to go to this path which is the uh, hkey current user software microsoft windows current version explorer advanced and in here we're going to look for the show copilot button so as you can see copilot is already enabled on the computer so if it is disabled on your device it will be with value zero if that's the case change it to one and click ok and that should enable copilot on the computer it could also be the case that copilot has been disabled through the group policy setting and resetting the policy can re-enable the ai chatbot on your computer the group policy editor it's only available on windows 10 pro enterprise and education if you have a computer with windows 11 home you will have to use the registry which i will show you later on on the video to enable copilot through group policy open star and look for group policy on the app we're going to go to user configuration and then we're going to go to administrative templates windows components and we're going to open the windows copilot settings and here we're going to open the turn off Windows Copilot and make sure that policy is not being configured as you can see right here. You can also choose the disable option and doing this it will turn on Copilot on Windows 11 and then click apply and click OK and you may need to restart the computer in order to apply the settings and see Copilot on the taskbar. Now if you're using Windows 11 home you can use the registry to enable Copilot but again using the registry can cause different issues on your computer so it's assumed that you're making a backup before proceeding and you don't know what you're doing. So to enable Copilot through the registry we're going to open start and look for the registry. And then we're gonna open this path. H key, current user, software policies, Microsoft Windows and Windows Copilot. So this method only works if the policy to disable Copilot has been enabled. Otherwise, you're not going to see this option. If you can find it, you can use this method. And in here, just make sure that the policy is set to zero if it is set to one and then click okay and restart the computer. And this should enable Copilot on the taskbar and you can use also the Windows key plus C keyboard shortcut to open the experience. Microsoft is rolling out 
Copilot slowly. So not every device or every market has this feature. However, since the update is pretty much available everywhere, the feature is actually on the system. It just need a way to be accessed. So if you try everything and the icon doesn't show up on the taskbar, you can try to see if the feature is already available on the computer but it's just not accessible. And you can do that by opening start and opening the run command. And then you're going to use this command right here and then click OK. And if Copilot is actually installed on the computer, you will see it popping up from the right side of the screen. If that's the case and you can add the button to the taskbar for some reason, what we can do is to create a shortcut to open the experience. And that's something that you can use until Microsoft officially rolls out Copilot to everyone. And to do that, you can right click on the desktop and then go to new and select shortcut. And right here, we're going to tie the path and then we're going to click next. We're just going to call it Copilot and then we're going to click finished. And now you can double click the icon and that will open Copilot. And if you click it again, it will close it. This will not work for everyone, but if it is the case that Copilot is actually installed, but Microsoft still has things to figure out to make it accessible on your region, you can use this workaround. And that's it. Those are all the ways that you can use to try to enable the new Windows 11 Copilot on your computer. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.